All right, so I'm going to share my screen a bit odd because I'm not hearing anyone. So I'll, I'll find the problem later. So, well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for all the trouble with all the sounds. Um, today's uh, presentation is about uh, a research that, that I'm intending to present at, uh, to submit at the, for a fellowship, the NIHR Advanced Fellowship. And uh, this fellowship aimed to answer the following question, what make nurses stay in the NHS? So before answering this question, I would like to discuss why is this research important? Policymakers and recruiters recognize that it is important to retain motivated and trained nurses to deliver continuous and high quality of care. The, the importance of retaining nurses has also been realighted by a recent event. There has been the Brexit, for instance, uh, as a result of the Brexit, there has been a decrease in the number of uh, European nurses applying to work in the UK. So it is even more important to rely on the current workforce. And the COVID-19 as well as re exposed the problem that the health workforce is facing that is working on the staff in an environment that is full of pressure. This research is important because employers can use work characteristic to make the nursing profession more attractive. And this is even more important uh, because the wages of nurses tend to be relatively inflexible. So there is this idea that uh, there is some sort of a national threshold for nurses across England with, with a little bit of difference across region to compensate for different uh, standards of living. But even at that, it's not uh, to the same extent as the private sector. So because employers and recruiters have little influence on wages, they need to use other factors that can make the nursing profession more attractive. And one of these factors are work-related characteristics. So how do we retain nurses? From the different academic report and paper that I've read, it is unlikely that a one-fit-for-all intervention will be able to retain nurses. And uh, for us to answer this question, we need to ask uh, the very basic question, what do we know about, um, we need to know, sorry, what we need to know what nurses like at work in order for us to have targeted intervention. We need to put a quantitative value of what nurses like at work. This is a, a second question that I'm aiming to answer in my research. And we need to know whether what nurses value at work influence uh, the decision to stay over time. And those three uh, particular questions are the questions that I'm aiming to answer for my research fellowship. Because of time, uh, I'm going to focus only on the first two questions of a research fellowship. That is, we need to know what nurses like at work and we need to put a quantitative value on what nurses like at work. And in order for me to answer this question, I'm going to use different but complementary uh, methodologies. So before answering this question, I would like to briefly recap, what do we already know about what nurses value at work? Um, from all the different papers that I read, either academic paper or reports, uh, it is evident that the characteristic of workplace are important to retain nurse in the profession. Nurse value places where there is a high team cohesion and where they are supported by the colleagues as well as the managers. So they value managers who value them, who take the need into consideration. Nurses also want to be able to deliver high quality of care to the standard they aspire to. It means that they want to be able to be supported with the right material and with the adequate level of staff. Nurses also want to have tailored training and education program that will enable them to advance in their career. And they also want schedules that will allow them to maintain a good work-life balance. Uh, one paper even mentioned the fact that some schedule needs to account for the fact that the, the nursing workforce is aging and some current practice are not reflecting that. And higher wages also was mentioned by nurses, although it didn't seem to be one of the most important factors. Nurses really valued a work environment that will uh, value them, that will enable to work rather than just having a higher wages. A higher wages in itself is not enough. What do we already know? Uh, it, we, from all the evidence that I've just cited, 
most of this evidence did not come from the from UK studies. They came from Canadian studies or Australian studies or, or the Nordic countries as well. And when the evidence came from uh, UK studies, they came from qualitative studies and it was done with very little sample. So when it's done with such little sample, it's, it's difficult to see that those results can be applied to the whole nurse workforce across England. So this is why I believe my, my research will complement what, um, what would complete what has already been done and hopefully will do it at a higher, at a larger scale. So how do we retain nurses? We need to know what nurses like at work. In, for, in, in, in order for me to answer this question, I would need to conduct interviews of nurses working in different hospitals across England. And to put a quantitative value on what nurses like at work, I will need to use a specific technique that will enable me to elicit nurses' preferences about what they work at, about what they like at work, and I will be able to put a quantitative value on it. It means that I will be able to give a weight of importance. Giving a weight of importance is very important because when there are many factors, we need to know what is the most valued by nurses not because we want to neglect the others, but because when we have restricted budget like policymakers have, they will need to have some sort of a priority. And having a quantitative value will help policymakers to target what are the most important factors. So as I said earlier, to know what nurses like at work, I will need to conduct qualitative interviews across different hospitals in England. And the most important uh, aspect of this research will be to uh, capture the perspective of nurses. In as much as managers are in the best position to implement a change, if we don't account for nurses' perspective, we're likely to uh, implement intervention that will have no or little effect at all. Uh, so this is one of the main contribution. And by selecting hospital, I would need to have a good balance between the size and whether they are in a rural or an urban area, for instance. To answer question number two, to put a quantitative value on what nurses like at work, I will use uh, a specific method that is called discrete choice experiment. So that's just the name of the method. And this method will enable me to elicit the preferences of what nurse like about their work and put a quantitative value on it. So how do I do that? After conducting those interview, I will be able to draw a list of all the things at work that nurses value and influence their decision to stay. And from those inf information, I will then select those that policymakers can change or can modify. And I will then design what is called the discrete choice experiment, where nurses will have a list of factors that they will be able to choose. And from this information, I will then be able to know what is the most important factor. So I will be able to put a weight on it. So to best illustrate what, I'm, what I was just talking about, the discrete choice experiment, I've put a slice here. So you can see um, if we focus on the left-hand side, we have job A and job B. So this, this is the type of a screen that nurses will be looking at. So this is from a study that has been published and that was done for nurse uh, in Australia, where researcher wanted to know what do nurses like at work, what influenced the decision to stay. And you can see here on the left hand side, the different uh, characteristic of the job, earnings, hours, type of employer, autonomy, etc. And each characteristic has different level. So here we have, for instance, a 15% increase in earning or no changes. What nurses are meant or asked to do is to choose between A or B. And by choosing that, I, I, will be, I will be able to then determine what is the most important of those least, what is the most important characteristic that influence the decision to stay and whether nurses do some trade-off. So for instance, are nurses willing to be paid more to have less autonomy, et cetera. So that's just one example, for instance. So this research, in summary, this research um, will, will contribute to, to academic research and to health workforce because I will be able to identify and quantify what nurses value and what influence the decision to stay 
uh, using the perspective of nurse. I am aiming to use different but complementary method to identify those factors, to put a value on it, and to also have the perspective of nurses. And hopefully I will be able to um, do it at a larger and a more representative sample. So I would like to thank you for listening to me. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I'm uh, looking forward to, to hear more of your comments. So if you have further question, you can email me or follow me on, on Twitter. Thank you very much.